When someone has one of those one of those blocks, one of those limiting beliefs, one of those resistance, mm -hmm. you know, earlier you, you mentioned doing Facebook Lives, and I know with, with my coaching, one of the biggest things that's holding people back is not knowing what to do, it's actually doing it. Exactly. And they don't do it because they're afraid. That's it. It's because well, I don't want I don't want I don't want to push that red button because I'm afraid of what this person's going to think. I have these internal limiting beliefs from child. I mean, they don't say that, but that's what's yeah. really going on when we get yeah, into it. I think I in the classroom. Or yeah. Things. How does, in, in, from your experience, how does someone break through that fear? How do they break through that fear? Because I believe that that is where you're talking about starting your business. Uh, but in my mind, it's not the what, it's the getting through those things so that they can actually do the how. Right. Well, self-confidence is the result of surviving a risk. Mm. So if I'm afraid to ask a girl out for a date when I'm in high school, and I finally do it, and she says yes, wow, I survived that risk. Or even if she says no, I didn't die, I'm still here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is the more risks you take and the more you survive them, the more confidence you have. You know, the first time you play the guitar in front of your friends, and they didn't laugh, you know, uh, you go, oh, that's kind of cool. I, I, I sometimes do chanting in my seminars where we'll chant a phrase over and over, yeah. Alleluia or something like mm -hmm. that, with our eyes closed. And it literally, it's why people do hy hymns in church and, you know, in the East they chant in temples and so forth, the Gregorian chants of the Catholic monks. Because when you chant in a group, it brings the vibration of everyone together. It's like what, standing around singing, you know, my body lies over the ocean, which <laughs> is, you know, that kind of, mm -hmm. but we're all in harmony at that moment. The vibration is similar. And I remember the first time I had the courage to take my guitar out and do that, you know, have everyone think, oh, he's some weird hippie freak or something, you know, uh, and they loved it. And, and I was like, oh, because I could have done that years earlier, but I didn't because I was afraid. I was in my 20s probably. And... So there's three ways to get through fear, in my opinion. Number one, just do the thing you're afraid of. You know, it's Tony Robbins' fire walk. You think you can't do it, you walk across the coals, you didn't burn your feet, you go, oh my God. You know, what else have I been telling myself I can't do? If you're afraid to skydive, go skydive. You know, do the thing you're afraid of. Uh, and then you survive it, and you're okay. You know, sometimes you just, someone pushes you in the pool and you have to swim, and you survive. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is all fear, except for loud explosions and falling backwards, which baby even mm -hmm. would be afraid before any languaging, is self-created by imagining something bad happening in the future. So even if a snake crawled in this room and it was a rattlesnake and it was rattling over there, if we're scared, we have to be imagining it's going to bite us. Mm -hmm. It hasn't bitten us yet. Mm. Everything's fine. It just happens to be a rattlesnake in the room. And so we always have to go into the future. So you're in the future going, oh, my God, if I hit that red button, I'm going to blow it. That person's going to go on social media and say negative things about me. That's you making that up. So you can use that same principle to think the thought and visualize the vision of everything going well, getting, you know, 429 likes or 5,000 likes or whatever, however big your, your community is. And, and then, you know, going home and getting a pat on the back and receiving 20 emails that night. It's the same process. You're thinking and visualizing, but we're visualizing against ourselves when we're scaring ourselves. We're visualizing for ourselves when we stop that and replace it. And there is this thing called the law of replacement. It's very difficult to get rid of a negative thought if you don't replace it with a positive thought. So that's, and then finally, I think the coolest thing that's come along in ages is this thing called tapping. Emotional mm -hmm. freedom technique where you tap on these nine acupuncture yeah. points. And literally, it was evolved from something called the five minute phobia cure, where the man was able to eliminate any phobia, 99.4% effective in anybody in five minutes or less. Mm. Um, and Roger Callahan. And then Gary Craig came along and basically simplified it for the masses. And I'll sit in, I'll be in airports now. And people are, you know, about to get on the plane and they're going like this. You yeah. Know? But, it, all you have to do is think of the thing you're afraid of, do the tapping technique, which you can learn on YouTube. Yep. You, you know, I have a book on it as well called Tapping into Ultimate Success. And fear disappears. It just goes. And it's like magical. And so if it's five minutes between the red button and me pushing it, that's silly not to take advantage of that technology. Yeah.